Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to show you plant combinations for the full sun using plants from the Southern Living Plant Collection. I've got a lot of the pieces in the ground already, and I had lots of them in containers, and I thought this would be a good opportunity just to move the pieces around and show you how I think um, some groupings that I think fit together well. There are a lot of different um, things you can think about when you're deciding whether plants uh, match up. And uh, one of the ones that's the main one that's used uh, that I see most frequently is uh, foliage color. So something like the sunshine ligustrum that has the gold foliage, you know, it matches this uh, maroon purple kind of foliage on this wygelia. It matches this purple foliage on this purple daydream laura petalum matches kind of any green foliage. In fact, I did not use sunshine ligustrum in any of the groupings I'm going to show you because it will kind of replace almost any plant um, and uh, for other reasons as well that I'll talk about in just a second. But so, you know, that's using foliage color. Um, the next thing we can use is texture. We can use different leaf shapes of something like this grass right here versus a broad leaf uh, like on this wygelia or on this, uh, on this white wedding hydrangea right here just to use contrasting uh, foliage types, okay? And then, of course, we can use um, size and shape, okay? Size is kind of going to be determined, um, and scale is going to be determined by the size of your house and your property. You may need plants that just get larger uh, in general to fill up a space. A lot of little dwarf plants may not look that great on a very large house. Um, so keep that in mind, um, that scale is important. I have a very this is a tiny little two tenths of an acre urban lot and most of the plants I'm using stay pretty compact. And so, um, you know, that's the way I'm going about uh, choosing plants for this space. Um, sh plant shape um, is the next thing here, which is, you know, something like this, again, the sunshine ligustrum, uh, it can be pruned uh, in a cone shape. It could be pruned into a ball and having those different types of shapes where like this white wedding hydrangea is going to grow. It's a shrub, but it grows kind of in a small tree shape. Um, where it's wider at the top than it is at the bottom. You've got the cone shape of, of this orange rocket barberry that kind of grows just upright and narrow. Um, again, this grass, uh, this Miss Lemon um, abelia kind of grows low and flat to the ground. So using different shapes uh, together also works well. You don't have to necessarily use foliage color. You can actually use all greens if you want to and just use different shapes where you have cones and balls and ground covers or grasses and match them up that way. So real quickly, I'm going to go through some uh, about six different uh, combinations that I feel uh, um, um, look great together and uh, tell you why. I really like this first uh, combination right here. This is a shining sensation wygelia with the uh, dark uh, maroon foliage right there. This is a Dragon Prince Cryptomeria and this is a Merlot uh, Lavender and the uh, wygelia is going to get you know, four to five feet in height, and the uh, cryptomeria can as well, but it can be kept much smaller than that, maybe three foot round, and uh, the lavender is going to stay uh, pretty low to the ground, maybe around a foot tall or a hair higher. So you got this stair step uh, with the uh, purple in the back, and uh, the uh, cryptomeria right there is a mid sized plant, and the lavender is the small piece. And then, of course, we have foliage color. We also have texture here where we have the fine texture of that lavender. And then uh, this conifer, uh, which is also, this conifer is also soft to the touch, which I really, really like. And then we have the broad uh, foliage on the wygelia. So in this next combo, I actually included a screening plant, uh, this mood ring uh, podocarpus, which can get between 10 and 15 feet in height, has beautiful uh, foliage color on it all season long. They call it mood ring because the, the new growth changes colors as it grows during the season to be, make a great backdrop to uh, encore azaleas. I uh, really like the uh, uh, foliage contrast between those two. And then the, uh, um, I probably get a white uh, Encore Azalea if you were going to use uh, the Encore Azalea in this grouping because I included this Touch of Gold Holly with it, which is a, um, a variegated holly that uh, will stay low and uh, has a dome shape and keeps that color all year long. So in this grouping, you've kind of got, we've got the color contrast, we have the differences in the foliage, and we very much have a difference in height where uh, the uh, mood ring podocarpus is going to get quite large and then these um, these two pieces would underplant it the touch of gold and the encore azalea for the next grouping there's five pieces sitting here but if we were going for you know three piece uh, combos uh, this white wedding hydrangea right here uh, in pretty much any combination with this orange rocket barberry or this miss lemon abelia look great you've got the height of the white wedding here is going to be you know maybe four to five feet 
uh, where the, um, uh, the orange rocket barberry is going to be around three, three and a half feet. And then the uh, Miss Lemon Abelia stays much lower than that. Uh, we could come back in and, and take out the white uh, wedding hydrangea. And uh, like I said, the sunshine ligustrum will go in pretty much any grouping. That grouping looks great. Uh, we can pull this out and, uh, and pull the orange rocket barberry out. And this white wedding hydrangea, uh, again, it's going to get some height on it. Uh, looks great with this, sun, uh, with this purple daydream, Laura Petalum, and this Miss Lemon Abelia. You can see um, the endless possibilities. Uh, for these five pieces. The uh, Orange Rocket Barberry, Purple Daydream, Laura Petalum, White Wedding Hydrangea, Sunshine Ligustrum, and Miss Lemon Abelia. I really like this combination. This is a jewel box distillium, which has that uh, long, narrow uh, leaf and that blue-green foliage with um, this uh, Purple Daydream, Laura Petalum, and this touch of gold holly back here. So you definitely have a foliage color difference. You have uh, differences in the uh, size and shape of the leaves as well. Um, all three of these pieces are evergreen. They do, they are about the same size. You know, they're both all gonna get in the uh, two to three feet in height range. If you wanted to um, uh, get, have a larger piece uh, in the back, you could replace this purple daydream Laura Petalum with a purple diamond, um, one like this that will uh, get taller. But I really do, uh, I really do like this uh, combination. For those of you who need some, maybe need some larger um, pieces, or, or you're trying to create a screen, uh, this is golden Oakland holly right here. It has that beautiful variegated foliage. It's just leafing out here in the spring with new growth on it. It can get quite big, uh, upwards of like 20 feet in height, but uh, upright and narrow. Uh, this is a moon dance uh, hydrangea. Hydrangea paniculatas will take the full sun and uh, bloom pretty much throughout the summer once they get started. It's usually a little later when they get going, uh, sometime in June. And uh, that variety is gonna get you know, about head high. And then uh, this is Purple Daydream Laura Petalum, but in this grouping, I would probably uh, get one like Purple Diamond that will get four or five feet in height. But that uh, purple foliage with the, uh, the golden Oakland right there will look great. And then that darker green uh, foliage on that Moondance Hydrangea. That Moondance could be replaced with a White Wedding Hydrangea. The last combination I'll show you here is this Shining Sensation Wygelia with that beautiful dark uh, foliage on it. And uh, this Juliet Clara. This Juliet Clara make a great screening plant. If you need a lower growing uh, screening plant, it can get, you know, maybe six feet in height, maybe a little bit taller over time. Uh, this Wygelia would end up four or five feet, look fantastic in front of it. And let me show you a couple other pieces that would go with this combo. This is Emerald Snow Laura Petalum. It's a green foliage one with uh, white flowers, and it would look great with that Wygelia and uh, Juliet Clara combo. And so with this Dragon Prince uh, Cryptomeria, it's gonna get into three to four foot height range, uh, say a little smaller than the Wygelia and definitely smaller than that Juliet Clara. So there's some combinations that I really like. Um, I'm missing uh, the Nandinas. I don't have any of the four Nandinas in the collection. Uh, there's Flirt, Obsession, Lemon Lime, and Blush. They're great for color contrast, great for foliage contrast. They're all pretty much compact uh, evergreen plants that are there's very industrial. Um, it would work well in a lot of these combinations. I wish I had them to uh, show them off, but I don't. And then um, there's several gardenias in the collection as well that I didn't include in any of these combinations. And definitely, again, uh, something like uh, the Sunshine Ligustrum is going to be interchangeable in pretty much any of these combinations and can be pruned into different shapes if you need something that's lower growing or if you need something that's cone shaped and definitely looks great um, with the dark green foliage of a gardenia or any kind of foliage color uh, in the collection. So uh, thank you very much uh, for watching this video.